to the American dream. Welcome to the American Dream Selling Kansas City. I'm your host, Jonathan Goforth, and today I have the pleasure of introducing you to Art Phillips. Art Phillips is one of the greatest American Dream success stories in the nation. Take me through your journey. Jonathan, when I was 18 years of age, I started working for McDonald's March 1st, 1966. At any rate, I wound up turning in my two weeks notice. I was going to quit, look for a higher paying job. Two days after I turned my notice in, the management came to me and asked me if I'd ever considered McDonald's as a vocation. I went back to them and said, yes, I'd love to uh, go to work for McDonald's on a full-time basis and uh, work my way into management. A few months into that, I wound up uh, going to my manager and said, you know, I'm sold on this. I'd like to know what I, I can do to actually own one. He told me I needed $50,000 in the bank. I needed to be able to go finance $50,000. So for $100,000, I could actually become an owner of McDonald's. So what happened after that was is I changed my focus on what I was going to do, and, and that was I was gonna buy houses that were in distress and fix them up and then sell them for a good profit. And that worked for me for uh, several years, and with that, had the money I needed to purchase uh, a McDonald's. As you begin owning many McDonald's franchises, Art earns the respect of enough people to become nicknamed Mr. McDonald's. When we go through the drive-through, we're used to ordering off the value meal, but what you may not realize is that concept came from you. We had a business meeting, uh, all the operators in the uh, Kansas City area, and the advertising agency had asked us uh, as operators what we would like to see or we would like to do. I said, have you ever considered doing like a one, two, three, four menu option where we have a burger, fry, and a drink bundled together? You look around the room, most of the operators here are not into discounting, so they're not, you know, probably going to go for that. Uh, about four or five operators down the road, and then there was an operator that uh, said, wait a minute, I gotta tell you, I like Art's idea. They came back to me and said, this project is actually too large for us. You need to take that before all the top executives uh, in so the McDonald's system. So McDonald's corporate. So, yeah, I only put together four value uh, meals. It was a Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, filet of fish and two cheeseburgers. Something I find so fascinating about you, Art, you have 12 kids. 10 of them are adopted, which gives you this wonderful, huge family. I was working with The Lighthouse, uh, which was a pre-adoptive organization. One day they brought us a child and said it's going to be maybe a little bit longer with this one. Well, a year later, they came back to us and said, well, we're going to uh, put him on Thursday's child. See if we can't get him adopted. I said, well, why do we need to do that? We'll adopt him. The judge said, uh, does the state approve? And the answer was yes, and uh, we adopted our first son. At this point, your career's thriving. You own a lot of different McDonald's restaurant franchises, and you come to a point where you want to retire. Art sells the remaining 10 McDonald's restaurant franchises, and you would think right there, your story is over. So we're standing in a brand new Tacos for Life. Tell me about what gets you excited about Tacos for Life. Boy, Jesus is good. I wound up, you know, doing a lot of praying about it. My wife was praying about it as well. And um, we decided we're gonna go to Little Rock and give this restaurant a try. Love the food, love the concept of the building, and their mission was to eradicate or stop or get rid of world hunger. God was leading our lives, so he wasn't done with us yet. We yielded to that, and, uh, and here we are today. This is fascinating. Can we go back to the kitchen and let's make some tacos? Absolutely. This is the best taco I've ever had in my life. Thank you so much for being on the TV show. And I want to thank you for watching today. And please join me on the next episode of The American Dream.